All right, everyone, so if you're wondering how I get such great pictures of the dogs, um, I usually use my iPhone, but obviously I'm um, recording on this, so let's see if I can get a better view of the fireplace. There we go. I'm gonna show you what I do um, to keep their attention. Hey, stop, stop pulling at it. Is there salmon in there or something from your birthday? <laughs> um, some props, you know, like I have this stool. Beep, beep, excuse me. So then, for example, I'm just gonna take some stuff off the fireplace. Please don't argue over those. Oh, it's dusty. Mama needs to dust. Yeah, I do. Let's put this little guy right here. Cyrus, come on. Obviously, they think this is fun. <laughs> hey. And then, now this, this part takes a lot of practice, but Place, Elsa, place. Good girl. Wait, wait. Like I said, I usually like to use my iPhone. <laughs> Elsa, place. Come here. Place. Sit. Patience. Elsa, come. Place. You want a snack? Cyrus, do you want a snack? Usually I only work with one dog at a time as well. get some distance and what's really important is that you stay at like their eye level right Obviously, I didn't put a whole lot of effort into this photo, but now I can go back, maybe change the background, do some edits, change the exposure, stuff like that, and go from there. Hey, let's not break stuff. Thanks. <laughs> but it does take time to get them to, um, you know, learn how to sit patiently and calmly and um obviously not break things <laughs> he i can't put him on this stool he's too big and um kind of dorky um his balance isn't that great so you have to learn what your dog's boundaries are what they're capable of doing um if it's gonna hurt them obviously don't do it so that's how we take pictures So I just want to add a couple more things about pet photography. So you really want to make sure that you're like on their eye level. It'll give you the best representation of them. If you're doing it from like above or from the side, their body gets kind of wonky. Um, their head might look huge and their, you know, tiny little arms, skinny, you know, stuff like that. Um, I like to use toys. Um, our dogs are food motivated, but when you use their favorite toys, they they will do anything for their favorite toys. So I like to use toys, um, use whatever works best for you. Um, with the iPhone, I love portrait mode. And up in the top where, where it has the little F sign, if you click on that, you can adjust the focus of the background. So if you're wanting to edit your background, 
you take your focus the whole way to to clear so that whatever program you're using can recognize the subject and then you can adjust your background however you want um same with puppies like if i'm photographing puppies i'll use toys um david sometimes i'll have him walk behind me so that they'll have something to look at um something other than me <laughs> because i get boring so um a lot of times people that they don't know or they're they're not used to um if they walk behind you it'll give them something to look on to look at um and they'll like they'll hold their um you know their connection um so they'll stay still and that'll give you a chance to take pictures puppies are a lot harder they're they're easily distracted they you know look at different things all the time they don't like sitting in whatever i like to use boxes like those um those cardboard boxes with the big pretty ribbons i like to use those to put the puppies inside they try to get out um so a lot of times if I'm doing a litter of puppies, it'll take me a few hours to get all the pictures. Elsa and Osiris are super easy for me now. They know that, you know, if they sit for five minutes, they get to play with their toy, their favorite toy, they get snacks. Um, so they're really, really easy for me now. Um, I, I do like to take pictures outside a lot. Um, just because the lighting is so much better than indoors. I use my ring light sometimes, but outside is really, really good lighting. And I like to do it in the, the golden hours or whatever they call it, um, morning or afternoon. Um, so the sun's not too like powing your face. Um, what else? Props, use props. I like to go overboard on the props, um, especially cause I'm doing it in portrait mode, portrait mode you know, it zooms in on things. So a lot of your stuff's gonna get cut out. Um, so I use as many props as I can. And then um, whatever is in the picture, it looks really good. Um, I'll attach some of our Halloween pictures too, so you can see what I mean by props. Cyrus. <laughs> um, anyways, if you guys have any questions, if I missed anything, I'm sure I did miss anything, just ask me in the comments. I'm happy to help.